Most of us overdo it at work, especially these days. Working too hard, lifting too much, sitting too long. We don't always take these consequences seriously. Here's some reasons why we should and some tips to help out. Right. Mr. Ning? 35 year old Jeff Ng is missing work and missing out on his favorite sports because of back pain. So, what, what brought this one on? This was tennis, actually. This is definitely a common type of problem. That really gets you. He's resorted to using five year old muscle relaxers just to get out of bed. It was really bad. I mean, I couldn't stand up at all. According to Virginia Mason, back pain is the number one cost to employers, draining $90 billion from our health care system every year. Here they've been focusing on physical therapy and scheduling appointments where specialists all meet together. Dr. Mecklenburg says it cuts way back on time and money for employers and employees. Now what we've done here is eliminate everything that doesn't really help. So I'm going to tell Dr. Jones what you and I chatted about. A handy dandy measuring tape is one of my tools. Occupational therapist Laura Griffin is helping people help themselves with some adjustments at the workplace. They don't think about it. They just know that they have a little crick in their neck. You actually want to be more or less upright. Or have your chair slightly reclined. Your feet should be firmly on the floor. And so you want that lumbar curve in your in lower the back. Of the back. And Griffin says you may want to remove or drop the armrests. Armrests that, that are up high so that your shoulders are, are, are being pushed up, that creates tension here. A badly positioned keyboard can cause tendonitis. But you see how far back her wrist is cocked? Griffin says drop your keyboard it's low left, enough, left. maybe to a tray under your desk, so your shoulders are relaxed, your forearms are about parallel to the floor, and your wrists are straight. First thing I would want to do is get rid of these little legs. All of a sudden, you're in a tilt that's just a little bit tilted away from your body. And use a document holder. It'll minimize twisting and turning. Turning their head back and forth and back and forth. On a more serious note, the Department of Labor and Industries is launching a new campaign to raise awareness of workplace safety in our state. Right now, LNI has nearly 4,000 claims, each one costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. For more information, go to our website, q13fox.com, click on Only on Q, then the Wellness Report. Back to you.